I want to welcome you back to our series on the lessons from nature. You know, Solomon speaks of four things that are little on the earth. Let me just read you what he says. Oh, but before we read, let's pray. Father in heaven, as we look at your holy Bible, would you please teach us what it means? Guide us by your Holy Spirit. I ask in the name of Jesus, amen. It says in Proverbs 30, verse 24, there are four things which are little on the earth, but they are exceeding wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their food in the summer. The rock badgers are a feeble folk, yet they make their home in the crags. We've talked about the ants in another video, but let's talk about those rock badgers. And you might call them uh, conies. Maybe you have another word for them where you are. Some of them lived where Jesus was. And you know, in many parts of the world, if you go up into the very high mountains, you can get to a point where it gets so cold that trees don't grow, where the oxygen is kind of low. And there, when you get above that place, those alpine places, you can find beautiful flowers. They're usually very short because of the wind. You can find grasses of many types and small shrubs. And what you'll also find in many parts of the world are little animals about this big that we call rock badgers. These are rodents that when, when they live up there, it's a place where there are not many foxes, not many wolves, tigers aren't up there, lions aren't up there. You might wonder, is there anything that eats a rock badger? But there is. It's eagles. Eagles and hawks and all kinds of birds of prey. The eagle will be circling high and looking far below, and he can see a rock badger from two kilometers away. And when he sees it, he'll come to where he's just about over it, and then he'll begin to dive. And you know when an eagle dives, he goes so fast. So why is it that we still have rock badgers? Why haven't they all been eaten long ago by the eagles? It's because the rock badgers are a big family. And if one of them sees an eagle, he'll go, ah! He'll make a little noise. And you know what happens? Every rock badger in the mountain will dive under a rock, just like this one here, right underneath it. And the eagle can't get under the rock. So if you had a rock badger and you were checking him out, you'd find out he doesn't have big claws. He doesn't have sharp fangs. He doesn't have long legs to run fast. There's no way that he can get away from an eagle. But he can hide in the rocks. You know, that's a lot like you, young man, young lady. You're so weak. I'm so weak. We're not smart enough to deal with the devil. We're not strong enough to get away from him. There's no way that we can resist his temptations. But one thing we can do is when we're tempted is we can cry out to Jesus. That's the way we crawl under the rock or we dive under the rock. Jesus is called our rock. And the wisdom of the cronies is, the conies, here's what it said. It said, the rock badgers are a feeble folk, yet they make their home in the crags. Crags, that's a word for big rocks. We can hide in Jesus. We pray to him, Father, help me in my temptation. He'll help you. And then you're safe. No, you're not strong. You're just safe. He's strong. You're weak, but you're safe. That's the wisdom of Coney's. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, I thank you so much that you have provided a way of escape for those rock badgers. Please provide a way of escape for us also. I ask in the name of Jesus. Amen.